Hi guys, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play the Magical Land of Waz. Today we're heading north from the village of Jik to another town. Ooh, we have some more enemies here. Sneak attack, lovely. By the Bimbalis. Bimbalis, a special attack cami wing, and they're weak to fire and ice. I don't have fire and ice, but I do have telekinesis, which attacks all enemies, so that's what we're going to be dealing with today. They also have 360 HP. Since last time, I gained up a lot of levels because the difficulty jump here is staggering. Um, you need to gain, you're gonna probably, if you're playing this long, spend a good half an hour gaining levels and gold. But, this is probably the only time in the game that you will ever have to do that. And that's it. Because after this, uh, the game paces along really quite nicely, and, um, you don't really have any gold problems, so that's really good. So off screen, I leveled up um, just enough to buy the stuff in the next town, which we're going to be at in just a second. There it is. Here we go, inside. And I like how it's raining outside, so it's raining in the town. I think that's a really good touch. So let's head inside the inn. Don't need to use it, but hey, whatever. Because I want to go up here and grab the Fire Ruby. Awesome. <clears throat> this is the town of Northen, and the game pulls a pretty bastard move on you right here. Because what they do is, they uh, they put you in the town of Jik, and then they give you new equipment in Jik, and... Ooh, a Fire Fairy. Oh, I think I will have to check that for you. Well, they put new equipment in the town of Jik, and then, within walking distance of Jik, they put yet another town that has even better equipment. So, there we learned about the Fire Fairy, and we also got a Potion X. And here, this is what you can buy, and I've already bought this stuff off-screen. You can buy a Steel Bow for Shot. I already bought the H Bazooka for Leona back in Jik. The Wizard Rod. Sean can't equip, no we can equip, so, hmm, what if we're gonna get a new person? Uh, three leather jackets, one for each person. A bandana for Shot and for Chun, not for Leona. We'll get something better for her in a minute. And bracelet for Leona. So I bought all that stuff. It cost thousands of gold, so that's what all my leveling up went to. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And, um, so it is a pretty bastard move, but, eh, it's a good game nonetheless. Yeah, we're not kids. It's rumored that the poison rain comes from the mountains east of the village. It seems unlikely, but might the lawn be in that mountain? Hmm, maybe so. People said the fairy that protects the fire magic lives nearby. We're going to have to go check that out. Ooh, a Harrison. Very nice. That, I believe, cures silence. I'm pretty sure. We can talk to her to grab some information. Why not? Ten gold. Sure. You must take a good alchemist with you if you go to the magic cave to the east. The forest of flames of the west can be reached by way of a hidden path in the mountains. Okay, very nice. So we got two leads here. We have a cave of enchant, but we need an alchemist. And then a couple people are talking about a fire fairy, so we're going to have to check that out too. A potion over here, and a shelmet. That is the better helmet for Leona, so let's go ahead and put that on her. There it is. Gain five defense points. Awesome. And moving right along. Talk to this old bald loser. Poisonous monsters in the Cape Enchantment to the east. Yeah, I would recommend bringing about ten antidotes along whenever that uh, comes up. That'll be eh, a while. A couple episodes. So you have some time to burn till then. Yeah, I'll keep quiet in the library. And talk to you. Whenever the poison rain comes, I hear a sorrow for a scream coming from the eastern mountains. According to my research, it must be the cry of a whale. Hmm. Feyen is the name of the fairy in charge of fire magic. He might teach us some magic if we can find him. Yeah, well that is pretty much my next stop, is heading over to find that forest fairy. Those are just, that's just a teacher and her kids, and she tells you to shut up and not bother her. Let's talk to you. Poison rain comes from the east, what could be causing it? God knows if I know. And here we have uh, the line, the teleporter. We can use the telebox and we can travel over the journey, and then back to here. So that's really nice, that you get kind of free travel in this game. Talk to the little poo running around here. The mountains west of town, there's a forest called the Forest of Flames on the other side, so it tells you about the little passage there. And then back behind the invention shop here, we can grab a Silvera. A Silvera is an accessory. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does, but uh, we'll give it a shot, because why not? And it doesn't do anything to his defense, 
But, uh, you know what, let's look at his status real quick. Yeah, status shot. So, 235, 121, I went to the base, 51, 51, 58, 14. Okay, so it raises his intelligence by 20 points, so that means that I need to give it to Chun. Okay, so there we go. Chun now has 20 more intelligence points. Excellent. And that, I believe, is that as far as Northen's concerned. Pretty much spend a lot of time out here gaining up levels, and then go behind these mountains for a secret passage. And this must be the Forest of Flames in this peninsula. Let's head on inside and just head due north. Ooh, what is this? A tree demon? Sure. Yeah, just keep on attacking. I don't know if I've encountered a tree... Oh, we must... I wonder if we've encountered that before in the, uh... in the other forest. The Romwin or Rowan Forest, I think it was called? Oh, look, it's getting redder. Is it just my imagination, or is this forest getting warmer? I don't think we're imagining it. Look! The trees around us are burning! Ugh! Aren't there any normal forests in this world? <laughs> I... I want to go back. Yeah, well, you're not going to go back. We're going to keep on going into the fire. There's something here! I am Fionn, the Fire Fairy. Welcome to the Heart of the Blaze. The Fire Fairy? Are you the fairy in charge of fire magic and laws? Yes, I am. I live in this forest to protect all magical fire, as I was ordered by the Fairy Queen. I was told to grant my magic to the heroes if they came here. Are you the heroes from the human world? Never mind, if you weren't, you would have never made it here to the heart of the forest unscathed. Very well, I shall teach you to wield the power of fire. Yes! You have the ability to use magic. Here we go. <laughs> Little money. Yeah. I really don't like how slow it goes, so. <laughs> Final Fantasy Tactics reference for the win. Good! As you grow stronger, so will your magic! And if you meet the Fairy Queen on your journey, please send her, send her my greetings. And, uh, let's go ahead and use Burn in this battle, why not? Yeah, let's kick their asses. Let's see what Burn does. Probably wouldn't be all that great, but hey. Oh, it's only one target? That's not good. Probably would have been better off with some telekinesis. After this battle, I'm probably just going to meet you outside the forest. But uh, I just want to show off Burn, see what it does. How good it is, here we go. Wow, 300 damage! That's my new boss destroyer! Because telekinesis is unreliable, it does 80 or does 500, rather just do a straight 300 every time. Anyway, I'm going to meet you outside the forest. Be right okay, back. I'm back outside the forest. Let's go back behind this passage. And then, uh, well, we back. heard about some other places over here, about this mountain where the fear rain is coming from, so let's check it out. Let's head on in. Due to monster sightings, this is a restricted area. Okay, ooh, talk to you. There's a strange wall made of light up ahead that I can't get around. Yes, somebody in town was talking about them, so we needed an alchemist. You find no way around this wall of light. Eh, that sucks. Well, Meet you guys outside. Let's keep on exploring, looking around. Let's go over this bridge to yet another forest. Forest number three! Oh, this is one enemy. It's not supposed to really be here. You know what? I'm going to show off the uh, Parashot. It's 10 mana, and it's burn. Ooh, an Ivy Whoa! 238 damage. Bam! 415! Screw you! <laughs> 255. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, we're really not supposed to be in here right now, but hey, I'm just showing her up for the sake of showing her off. If it wasn't for the rain, we could leave these woods. I want to leave the forest. Yeah, I do too. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's head on down, and we need to find an alchemist. What do we have here? I don't need a power shot. Ooh, a jackrabbit. 
And let's use Telekinesis because it hits all enemies. Uh, Jack Row has 450 HP, it has a special ability of Vital Stab, and it is weak to ice, but that's useless to me because I do not have any ice, uh, any ice magic. So, eh. Nice, Sean, hitting all enemies, pulling your weight. Ooh, level up. Okay, let's keep on moving. And we need to find an alchemist. And if I recall correctly, there were a lot of people in Jik Village who were talking about an alchemist, whose name was Medisto. Let's look around down here towards Medisto, or towards Jik's Jik Village. And here we have a heal slime. I don't think I've talked about oh, a fire slime, too, or a heal slime, whatever that is. So the heal slime, 120 HP, cast Medea, which is the heal spell of this game, weak to fire and ice. And then the Flame Slime, 290 HP, has a Fireball skill, and is weak to Ice and Earth. And it dies. So, what's the other guy's name? Oh, Jack oh we already talked about Jack, bro. The Tiger Head, or whatever he is. The Thundercat! <laughs> Kids of the 80s, unite. Here we go. Okay, so we're down towards Chick Village, and we should be approaching... Oh, Medisto's house right there. Okay, let's go inside. Windmills, nice touch. Very peaceful, very nice. Welcome to the home of the great master, alchemy master, Medisto. Okay, well, let's go in. Maybe he's home, maybe he's not home. Who knows? We got here. In here. I have to loot everything, break all the barrels! Ooh, there's some treasure down here. Ooh, an intelligence drop. That'll be good for Chun. Raises his, his intelligence. We have Firework. Awesome. That allows you to escape battles quicker. Ooh, more stuff. Potion. Excellent. Can always have enough of those. Hey, are you the so-called alchemy master? Hey, are you listening? Oh, excuse me, I was caught up in my experiment. You must be the heroes I've heard about. Hmm, ah, uh, eh? You have some intriguing items with you. I'm talking about my beeper? If you don't mind, I would like to have those things. In exchange, I'll join you on your journey to defeat Palam. Hey, that sounds like a good deal. Yes, I'd feel much safer with the Alchemy Master of Laws along. I guess. It's not like this beeper is going to be any use here anyway. All right, here. We'll give you all of it if you come with us. Gave up the CD player, laptop, beeper, and the dive watch. I've got to say, this stuff really ages this game. A CD player, a laptop, and a beeper? Some of you kids watching might not even know what a beeper is. I do. I'm going to tell you later. Thank you, but before I go, there's one more thing I'd like to ask of you. My current experiment is nearly finished, but I need one more very important ingredient. Would you go and get it for me? It'll give me time to repair for the journey. Will you go? Sure. Thank you. I want you to go to the ruins of the Great Laboratory east of Jik. There you'll find the dinosaur DNA that I need. Here's an, I an ID card that will get you inside. You've acquired little money. It's so freaking slow, good lord. It's about as slow as you walk. Ah, I can see that you have the ability to use magic. It's dangerous to go alone. So let me teach you some healing magic. Oh, good lord. Yeah, awesome. Chun is finally, finally able to heal the party. Excellent. The magic I've taught you to, will grow in strength along with you. Good luck and thanks. Very nice. Be careful, there's thieves living in the old research lab. Well, that can't be good. Ooh, Distos Inventions. Ooh, we learned how to create a wolf cap. Awesome! Why does it have to go so slow? This is going to be the death of me, I swear. Hurry up. Hurry up. <clears throat> Anything else? Anything else? Let's see here. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing! Okay. Yeah. There's a... Big ton of nothing in here. Anything in here? Ooh, research diary. Today's experiment was a big success. What incredible power! This is just excellent. I am such a genius. 
Eh, sure, if you say so. Okay, let's get out of here. And we need to find this research lab for this dinosaur DNA for his weirdo experiment. Let's go over here and see if there's anything up here. Probably not. No, can't even go up there. Okay, so let's get out of here. And look around and go explore. And we've already explored the Forest of Flames. We explored the Cave of Enchantment. We explored a, a forest fairy. A fairies blocking a forest, whatever that was. Okay. Here we are at the Laboratory Ruins. And uh, we will explore these ruins next time on Let's Play the Magical Land of Waz. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day!